this series of videos will be looking at all of the defenses from the all six guards using the cloak together with the sword. So a lot of these are going to be very similar to our sword and dagger defenses. Some will be a little bit different because of how long and how bulky and some this cloak can be. So it's really important to watch the positioning of our hands so we're not inadvertently weighing ourselves down or getting in our own way. So we're going to do this um, around the clock. Matrito, high low, reverse high low, and Ibrokata, followed by Stokata. And I'll show each of these uh, from a variety of angles. So first one is we are in the court of Strata. We're dealing with a Matrito the high line, Fendente, Spolimbro, Tondo. We're going to pass in with the cloak, either thrust to the side with the Punta Reversa, cut to the thigh with a reverso, and leave with a rising thrust a stoccata. Alternatively, we could cut to the madrito if the cloak is high, and leave the same way with that stoccata. So it is step and hit, or step and hit. With the thrust, I can cut to the side, and then leave with a stoccata. Secondly, we can use testa. So, defend, trade engagement, cut high, cut low, depending on where the cloak is. So again, we defend, trade, cut, or cut, or cut and cut. One, two, one, two. Again, this really depends on where your cloak is. If it's very low, the low line will not be available, so the head has to be the high line. If they're attacking like this, then the low line is definitely a target. So go for that. Madrito to the leg. So we can use the uh, standard thing where we're going to reach out. We feel nothing. Pull the leg back, thrust to the face. Or that could also be a reverso to the arm. So either one or two. We can also use our false edge. Trade and cut to the thigh with a reverso. So one, two, and get out of there. Versus with the high line, this is, we're gonna use a cloak as well. Uh, I want to be stepping very strongly across to their left side. Because a few times he specifies left to left. So we're gonna step across, interfere with that attack, and at the same time we're either going to give a stoccata to the chest, so it's a rising thrust here, or we're going to do a reverse of the thigh. So it's really important here that I have these at the right levels, because I'm starting to do things like this, I'm going to weigh myself down, weigh myself down or weigh myself up to all sorts of counters that are I have a hard time dealing with. So we step across, making sure that my cloak is not interfering with my sword, and then get out. We can also just use entry guard where we extend out and thrust. It's very basic, nothing's changed from sword, sword, dagger. Uh, we're so low, same options here. We want to use the ridopio. And it's important as I'm doing that, I'm bringing my cloak across to my little outside so I'm not doing something like this, or kind of Hitting my, own, hitting my own arm, I want to get out of the way, and then come forward. Or we can always just avoid this right, this avoid with the right, the right foot, taking it back and either thrusting to the face, or stramazzoni to the sore arm. In broccata, we have three options here. We can use our tried and true mandrito sonimbro cut to the face, and because their cloak is going to be high, or it should be, we're going to cut to their thigh. 
So it's beat the right foot, cut the left foot, cut again with the right foot, and then get back to where we started. We can also use the false edge, much like we did with the uh, tap to the leg. So we defend the false edge, cut to the thigh, keeping this as our kind of training hand. Finally, we can do the overhead, over the outside slip, but in order to do that, make sure, make sure that I'm presenting an opening so when they come down the center, I can clear to my outside and cut to their outside, in this case, the right side of the neck with a overhand or so. And I guess they still count down, we can do the inside slip. So, thrusting to the face, or the flank, depending on where you are, but he specifically says flank, so again, here, guide around the way, making sure my arm is going forward, not out. It's forward, and I snap to the flank. We can use the true edge here, and this is going to be, I have to make a, make, make a correction here, against the stoccata, we beat, cut, cut, but against the imbrocata, we can beat cut, or we can beat thrust. So against the imbrocata, beat cut or beat thrust. Against the stoccata, it's beat cut, cut. Finally, we have a really new thing with this guard, with this um, combination, is I want to invite the stoccata to, to, to the uh, high line my weapons low. As the stoccata comes in, I'm going to pick it up with my cloak, stepping my left foot to their right, and hitting with a thrust. So essentially deviating it and weighing their, their weapon down. So I'll end up kind of way over here, uh, encumbered. So over here, we're at lower the weapons and weigh them down while deviating. So, again, the one correction I want to make is against an imbrocut, I can use the true edge and either a thrust, or I can defend defense and cut. Against the stoccata, beat, cut, cut, and get back. And that is all for Kurung Strata. We'll look at the other guards in subsequent videos.